Hey, what's up, Cowboys Nation? Day three of the 2024 NFL Combine. Nicole Hutchison alongside Nick Harris. And we've got Will McClay here, VP of Player Personnel for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Will, obviously, busy week for you. How busy is this week for you every year? It's crazy because of the, you know, it's sun up to sundown with interviews and then with the event starting today and getting to see the guys kind of run around. It is a big week, um, but it's fun. It's been fun. Do you feel like a week is enough time to just get everything done? Uh, I, I wish there was more time, but, uh, you know, we got to get it done now. And the, 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 they do a great job of setting up the interviews and the timing. It's just a little bit more than we're used to. They put the, the strain on us, but, the you know, the players get the opportunity to do their best at this event. Yeah, and how valuable is this opportunity to meet, be able to meet with these players in person and kind of get a feel of who they are, not only on the field, but off the field too? It's big for us because, you know, we spend so much time gathering information and asking people about them. Now we get to put our own inferences on it. We get to sit down with them. Our coaches are here and we're interviewing them. So we get to start to figure out which guys may fit from a personality standpoint, work ethic and all that stuff. I want to start with the offensive side of the ball. Obviously improving the run game is a big area. Um, for the Cowboys, what are you looking for out of a running back that can come in and help that? Well, you know, a big thing is uh, number one, they got to be able to run the football, but then it's how well they pick up things. Um, you know, we're looking at from a measurement standpoint, the different type of backs there are, and then do they fit into our system? So it's that's vitally important. But even more important is the guys that open up the holes. Yeah, and to those same points, uh, also mentioned that the Senior Bowl was stopping the run, and we were able to meet with a few defensive tackles and linebackers yesterday that have formal interviews with you guys. What's kind of the, the idea of what y'all were looking for in that front seven, too? You know, as we begin this process, it's a little different scheme. We're looking for big athletic football players, but finding guys that fit kind of the little nuances that Zim has. So it's it's been great for us is to spend, spend time with the coaches and hear them talk to players and communicate so we can get a better feel for what that is as well. What was that biggest shift whenever Zim came in as far as a draft perspective strategy goes? I think we're probably going to look more so at those bigger bodies on the inside stopping that and then we're always looking for linebackers. That's a position that you know in free agency and in the draft that we're going to have to look at because we want to add more uh, more players there. Obviously, Zim replacing DQ as um, the DC, but when you have a new coordinator come in, how challenging is it having to adjust your recruiting style when you have to adjust for a new coaching style? That, you know, that's the beginning part of it. It's like we want to find the ingredients for their recipe, uh, and it's the communication with them, uh, trying to understand that, and then getting an opportunity again to talk to them as we're looking at taper and you know with that short window now watching players on the field and hearing the coaches talk kind of helps us with that as well what's zim's uh i say recipe a little, little what's his recipe he, he wants to play solid football up front um we're going to try and turn the ball over and it's speed and it's versatility a free agency on, on the uh, cusp as well here in a few weeks. Uh, how do you guys kind of uh, manage from a scouting perspective, guys you would like to look at uh, during that period, not really knowing exactly what that cap number will be to? Yeah, what we do is we, we, we break players down. We won't get into money. That's on the money side. So what we do is guys that uh, will compete to start for us, you know, guys that we think can improve us as starters. And then we have little categories that as we break them down, um, you know, how they improve our depth. And, and then we'll give those guys to the coaches to get their input and see which guys that we see the same. The big part of it is that, that understanding and being on the same page. The pro department does a great job of setting it all up. We give it to the coaches. They rank it and then we kind of see where you know, we, there's some commonality and then where the money fits. Yeah, I would love to ask how a formal interview goes with you guys. What is the process, especially with Mike McCarthy and Mike Zimmer not being here back in Dallas, getting getting to work on that defense? Uh, what is the process like here in Indy this week for those formal interviews? Well, the coaches, Zim and, and uh, McCarthy are zooming in, so they're a part of every interview. But we want to figure out who the guy is. We want to bring him in, ask him about the stuff that they do, see if they can learn our stuff in those short instances, uh, and, and really find out what they're all about. There's some guys that come into the room, and you can just tell right away there's that dynamic personality, uh, whatever, but uh, it's just getting to know the players is the coolest part about this. And you obviously love the physical and the attributes and the skills about these players, but when you're looking for a guy, what are you looking for as far as them being a person? Uh, number one, are, do they love this game? If you love something, you'll do anything for it. Uh, so hearing them talk about their love and then seeing the evidence in it and then just finding out who they are as people, what's their why, what's their motivation, and see if that fits within what we're trying to build. We know you have a busy schedule. We'll let you get to it. Thank you so much. Will McClay, everybody.